Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Gambulkar. In this video, we will see different data management tools in cell 4. In cell 4, we have to perform different operations on data which is saved in objects. Operations like create or import, that means we are creating recording object. We can update those records, we can delete some records, we can export that data, we can also transfer ownership. Now see, if we are performing these operations on 10 records, 20 records, then it is easier. But if we have to perform these operations on 100, 200, 1000, 10,000 records, then it is very difficult if we are performing these operations manually. And to make these operations easier, in Salesforce, we have different data management tools. For example, data import wizard and data loader. So these are the tools, data management tools which are available in Salesforce. Now question is, in which situation we should use data import wizard and in which situation it is better to use data loader. For that we will see difference between these data management tools. Now see, data import wizard it is in browser wizard or in browser software we can say. We can use data import wizard in browser while data loader it is desktop application. We have to download that application and we have to install it. As from the name we will come to know, it is used for importing purpose. While this data loader can be used for imports or also it is used for exports. Now data import wizard can be used only up to 50,000 records. Means we can perform operations on 50,000 records only, up to 50,000 records only. But data loader, it can be used up to 50 lakh records. We can perform operations up to 50 lakh records. Data import wizard can be worked with specific objects only. We can use data import wizard with some standard objects like accounts, contact list, solutions and all custom objects. Data import wizard cannot be used with opportunities object. Keep in mind data import wizard cannot be used with opportunities object. While data loader can be used with all standard and custom objects. Data import wizard cannot give detail log while data loader gives detail log. Data loader gives detail log. That means why record import got failed, maybe because of some validation rule. So all such kind of log is given by data loader. Data import wizard does not support scheduling data loads. While data loader can be used to schedule regular data loads and nightly import. Data import wizard does not support delete operation. Keep in mind, data import wizard does not support delete operation. While data loader supports delete operation. Now see this is plus point with data import wizard. During import, duplicate data can be ignored. Suppose there is a duplicate data, so that can be ignored by using data import wizard. While in data loader, duplicate imports cannot be ignored. So these are the difference between data import wizard and data loader. Now from the difference we will come to know in what situation we can use data import wizard and data loader. So if we want to work with 50,000 records only, so we can use data import wizard. If we want to perform operations on some specific standard objects, we can use data import wizard. But data import wizard should support the standard objects. And if we want to avoid duplicate data, in that situation we can use data import wizard. Data loader has more advantages over data import wizard. So almost in all situations we can use data loader. So data loader has more advantages compared to the data import wizard. In next videos, we will see how to use data import wizard and after that we will see how to use data loader. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.